This is going to be a two and a half minute video, but totally worth it if you want to stick around and see the full process of this soap making. So from start to finish, even the cut, I know how you guys always love that. <laughs> so this one is my mermaid soap and I used a very fast fragrance called Sea Minerals and I just forgot how fast this is but I did a half and half so this is goat's milk and aloe here on the bottom of the soap with some ground flax seed mixed in and then I had my little mer people um and these are very special embeds if you want to stick around to the end you'll see and I put a sand dollar in a seashell on either side of the mermaid tail um, next time I do this soap, which I'll definitely do it again because this was super fun, um, I'm going to make them um, a little bit smaller. They're pretty big soaps. They're almost seven ounces compared to five. So that's like a soap and a half almost. Um, and the reason I say this is because you'll see in the cut where the mermaids are um, kind of far away from the side of the bar. So they're really in there like in deep. So it's kind of a little bit, it almost makes them look a little cloudy. So when you start using the bar though, you'll be able to see the mermaids a lot better. Um, but so here I have two with this recipe. It's um, a melt and pour that I made all by myself, uh, transparent soap. And so it's a little bit finicky and to kind of smooth out the top, I use a steamer and some isopropyl and I just spray it down to get all the bubbles and wrinkles out. Um, but as you can see here, this is why we see pop soap <laughs> and I couldn't see pop this one because um, I didn't want it to get like super hot. So I think it kind of added this cool like wet beach effect anyway. So it worked out really awesome. But here is the finished bar. Look at that. And I did a little ombre effect. If you can tell, it's kind of blue on the top and pink um, towards the bottom, pink and purple. So it went from pink to to like bluish on top and check it out it glows in the dark isn't that awesome i'm so proud of this one so it will be up on thursday this upcoming thursday